don't let him get away. Where are you, Marshall? Get everything settled in okay? More or less, I suppose. Oh, that's good, because we've got seven days of this luxury before we get there. Where is that again? Earth. <laughs> I just love to hear the sound of it. <laughs> oh, where's our date? He's checking the cargo again. Really? Yep. Oh, does that not surprise me? What's his deal anyway? What do you mean? I mean, doesn't he seem kind of... <clears throat> Ladies? Everything still there? Yes. Everything locked in and accounted for. I still don't understand why we have to bring all that stuff. It's just a matter of efficiency. If they're gonna send us all this way, they might as well save on some fuel and haul stuff at the same time. So does that make us custodians or caretakers? Multitaskers. Scrap sitters. Pretty small price to pay, if you ask me. Watching over some containers is a pretty easy gig considering where we're headed. Besides, I don't mind checking the exits, making sure they're locked up good and tight. I wouldn't want the side of this bad boy to blow open. Any idea what we're hauling? Uh, equipment, machinery parts, samples. General hodgepodge of stuff they'll need. Yeah, more or less. Well, makes sense, I guess. I still can't believe this is really happening. So what do you guys want to do now? Back rubs, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> State your name, your region, and a brief reason as to why you should be selected. Hi, I'm Vivian Colfer from Region 3C. I'm a people person. I love interacting with others. As such, I think I'd make a great team member. Would you consider yourself stable? Yes. Marshall Claiborne from Region 6A. I am a leader. I'm not afraid to do what's necessary, no matter what that may mean. Do you consider that mindset a strength? I do. I'm Dawn Neville from Region 3C. And why do you think you would be an asset to this endeavor? That's quite the question. What good is anyone, really? I mean, when you truly look at it all. Do we need to do something about her? No. She'll stick to our decision. And how do I know that? You know, I will not let her ruin this for me. You, for us. You don't have to worry about her. She's not going to say anything. Yeah? What if she does, huh? Then what? Trust me, she won't. I'll take care of it, all right? Please calm down. You don't know her as well as I do. No, I don't know her as well as you do. I don't know her at all. Hell, I don't even know you. Just trust me, okay? Fine. But you watch her. I don't want her wandering off alone. Right. Ah! Ah! What? What, Dawn? <laughs> Somebody screaming? What happened? He was there. He was right there. 
Marshall? Who? Who? It's not... Who was where? Honey, what is going on? <laughs> Dawn. No! What? It's fine! Dawn, let me help you. No! Dawn! You only get one shot at it. I almost had a breakdown waiting for the results. Yeah, but it's worth it. Well, you hope it will be. Are you kidding? Of course it is. We're talking about Earth here. The Earth. Do you know how many people pass that test? When they reach maturation? How many? 8%. Thank you, 8%. How long have they been rehabilitating it anyway? 320 years? 360. And this year, we're the best and the brightest. And we're going to save the world. Literally. It's kind of beautiful, right? In its own way. I wonder what an Earth apple will taste like. The same. Better. <laughs> what if we can't take it? The shock, I mean. Why couldn't we? Well, think about it. We've been on Mars for 30 years. It's all we have ever known. Can you really imagine seeing a blue sky? Or a tree? What if it's too much? We have trees back home. She means a real tree. Something that came into existence on its own. Not some lab plan. So, so we should talk about last night. How's your arm doing? Don, you can talk to us. There's nothing to say. just seemed upset, is all. And we're trying to understand that. I told you, there's nothing to talk about. We're not trying to drill you, but we are concerned. That was pretty weird. I just thought I saw something, but I didn't. Well? Well what? What did you think you saw? Dawn. Nothing. I saw nothing. Are you satisfied now? I'm actually the first member of my family to get accepted into the program. My mom was so proud of me. If I could take anything with me. She cried for two days, but she said it was just because she was so happy. So. You'll be able to travel back sometime and visit her, right? In theory. But people never do. Some say they will, but... I've only heard of a few who really ever have. I, I don't blame them. <laughs> who would want to? Is that the deal with the autopilot? It makes sense. How so? It's a seven day trip. And they only schedule a few a year. It's a pretty long layover. 
Um, what about you guys? Any family? Yeah. I have a wife, Tanya. Baby on the way. And you're leaving her? Of course he is. It's Earth. You know the rules as well as I do. She hasn't reached maturation. How old? 28. So it's only a couple more years. Still can't imagine leaving, though. I didn't think I was ever going to get to 30. She's smart. I know she's going to pass those tests, and then we will be together. Besides, I tried to stay, and she wouldn't have any of it. What's your baby's name? She doesn't have one yet. I'm supposed to think of one in transit and then send word back when we land. <laughs> she said she wanted her to have an Earth name. That's sweet. What about you, Don? Nope. It's just me. I think I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs> Yeah, I should do my rounds, check the cargo hold, but uh, stay close, Chief. I don't want to get stranded up here. It's a little, it's a little isolated for me. Hey, Don, you still awake? So many places we can be here. Do you consider yourself to be stable? Marshall? Hi, Don? 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 Marshall? Marshall? Please! Help! Help me! Help me! 
name is Vivian. My name is Vivian Culper. Is she okay? I don't know. That ought to sedate her for a while. Marshall, what's going on? If selected, this endeavor could prove extremely stressful. Being launched into unknown surroundings of such difference in nature has proven difficult for some. Would you say that you're psychologically sound? Yes, I would. Is there any history of mental illness in your family that we are unaware of? No. No, none that I'm aware of. Conquered. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Damn it. You're right, she is good. Yeah, yeah she is. Best in the district. Well, I tip my hat to you. You are indeed very, very clever. Oh, sorry, Region 6. You're not gonna be able to keep up with this one. She's quick. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. So, what about that drama in 8? You mean Section 8? Yeah. Yeah, I heard stuff here and there. Just seemed really crazy, though. What things? You didn't hear about it? No. What? Some families claimed that their son was killed during their Vive project. And it was covered up. Covered up? Yeah, it said his son was used as a test subject. Guinea pig. That's what he was. Yeah, but that's just what people claim. It was never confirmed. Oh, yeah, but there were a lot of crazy stories. Apparently, he was working in what was supposed to be a radiation-free zone. He didn't know he was in a dangerous area? Well, that's the thing. They say that they sent him in on purpose to see if it was human-ready. That's horrible. It, it's nothing to back it up, right? It was just some rhetoric from anti-revive groups. Maybe. Maybe not. Please. Just some stupid rumor, probably started by some loser trying to stir the pot. Oh my gosh, to think of that worker being sent in just... It's just one story. Yeah, yeah, he's right. I'm sure it was an accident or something. We know Revive's a great organization. You know, people like to make excuses, but sometimes things just go wrong. That they do. How about a subject changer, hmm? Let's have a toast. Nice. I concur. Well, what are we going to toast to? To new friends and a new journey. To the Revive Project. To Earth. Mm. Earth.
sure you'd hate that. Rainforest. Can you imagine seeing something like that? I really can't. Me either. There's still so much we don't know. And I know it sounds stupid, but sometimes I wonder if Earth is even real. How do you mean? Just seems a little too good to be true, doesn't it? Maybe a little. Everything in here just seems full of life. Can you think of anything like that back, back on Mars? I think I understand. But we know that Earth is real. We've seen the video, the photograph. Yeah, I, I know all that. I just hope it's what I think it is. Are you afraid we're going to get off this ship and see a dead planet? I really hope not. Look, we've been waiting for this our entire lives, yeah? Well. Once we step off this ship, the truth is going to be staring at us in the face. And I don't know, I don't know what to do if it's not what I need it to be. Vivian, I know that you have been let down before, but I also know that no matter what happens when we leave this ship, no matter what we see, we will be together. And I promise you, I won't let you down. You just have to believe. It's just been a long journey. But better if you smile, right? And it's like the whole thing never happened. Lights. Tanya? T Tanya, is that you? T no, this, this, isn't, this isn't me. 
isn't real. This can't be, this can't be happening. I missed you, baby. This can't be real. This... But it is. No, 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 this can't be. No, it's... Get here. I'm so sorry, honey. What are you talking about? I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, and I was so scared, and you weren't there. What is it? Why weren't you there? Why did you do this to me? I, I don't understand. Don't you see? Oh my, oh my God! Tanya! Lights, please. Thank you. Everything looking good? Yep. I'm finishing up my rounds right now. How's the habitat? It's better. Just a couple small tweaks and it'll be back to 100%. All right. Thanks for checking on it. See you in a bit. Parts container 413B. Check. Specimen container 587G. Check. Parts container 2. Lights? I said lights, please. Marshall, can you read me? Marshall? I need you to come out here. Marshall? Vivian? 
There's somebody down here. Daddy, is that you? Yes, sweetie, it's me. It can't be. You're gone. It's okay. You'll understand later. Just know that I'm here right now. Am I going mad? Oh, of course not, darling. I have missed you so much. But I don't understand how this could be happening. You don't have to worry about that right now. It's going to be okay. Your mother sends her love. Is she coming too? No, she couldn't make it. Just me. Look at me. My little dog, we are so proud of you. What you and your friends are doing, it's just wonderful. I'm so scared, Daddy. I know you are, but you don't need to be. You're going to help so many people. Without you, they won't be able to get back where they belong, back home. What if I'm not smart enough? You're smart enough for four people. You're destined for great things. I promise. Do you believe me? Good. You can trust me. Marshall. Sorry. Sorry, I got caught up with something. Uh-huh. You guys ready to get started? Never been so excited. Please remember to take this as seriously as we did our test. We've still got a lot to learn. Absolutely. Hit it, Miss Efficiency. In case you haven't heard it enough by now, we are all very proud of you for your commitment to the Revive Project. Out of the ashes of many, you have risen. Now that you have begun your voyage to Earth, you are privy to new information. Once you arrive, you will be integrated into our system and given partial access to our research. But with that comes new responsibilities. There are some things we rejoice in sharing with our fellow man. However, some things are best left untransmitted back to Mars. Certain bits of information may be difficult for the general public to digest, such as the case in any endeavor, 
especially in one of this unprecedented magnitude. Therefore, during the first year of your journey, you will not be allowed to phone your contacts back on Mars. You will be allowed to send written messages, which will be screened by project specialists guaranteeing that no sensitive material is included. After a full year, you will be evaluated and given video conference privileges. Once you're deemed 100% devoted to the cause and to the sensitive nature of certain facts. Think of this not as a restriction, but as a display of discipline. Never forget, you are one of the chosen few who gets to live on Earth. Welcome. What is this? Well, it seems a little shocking, but it really does make sense. It's just about keeping private information private. A year, Dawn? It's a hell of a wait. Control. We can manipulate what we do, what we say. It is not that big of a deal. They, they just want us to make sure that we understand that what we say has a really big impact on people back home. That's bullshit, Dawn. We have a right to speak freely. They can't take that from us. What do they got to hide, anyway? I have family that needs me. And I'm supposed to send a fucking letter? I'm gonna go talk to him. No. Just let him go. We're cramped in here enough as it is. But it really isn't that big of a deal. I understand, but just give him a chance to breathe. Give her some time. I'm not going down there and dragging her out by the hair, Marshall. Well, we've got to do something. What is it you propose we do? See? She's fine. What's going on? We were hoping you would tell us. What? Marshall tried to reach you, and you didn't answer. He wanted to go get you. I said you probably just wanted some privacy. Privacy? We heard you crying. As long as you're okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you answer the next time we call, all right? Sure. Yeah. Why does it seem like there's something else you want to talk about? Well, while we were waiting on you, Marshall and I were saying that... That we need to talk about what's been going on around here. Like what? I don't think there's any denying that Vivian had some kind of episode the other night. I've seen some strange stuff myself, and I'm betting that you have as well. We just all want to get on the same page. Maybe between the three of us, we can figure out what's causing some of this. What do you want from me? I don't know what's happening. What about you, Vivian? Why don't you walk us through your experience the other night? I already told you. I couldn't find either of you. And so I searched the place, and next thing I know, I'm pinned to the ground. But we were right there with you the whole time. We were screaming your name, and you, you just weren't responding. You've mentioned those things a few times. 
but it doesn't change the fact that I couldn't see or hear you. How could you not hear us? Look, it doesn't make any sense, Vivian. I don't know, Marshall. What about you? What's happened to you? I've seen things. Things? People. A person. Who? It doesn't matter who. Who did you see? It doesn't matter who I saw. Who did you see? My wife, okay? I, I saw my wife. That's impossible. Yeah. No shit. Look, it just, it doesn't matter what I saw. It was just some kind of illusion. It wasn't real. Don? Have you seen anything? No. I haven't seen anything that wasn't real. All right. Everyone be aware that something is happening. Keep your eyes open for anything that's out of place, okay? There's got to be something that explains all of this. This endeavor to restore Earth to its full strength is one that will require trust. Do you feel you are one that can be trusted? Absolutely, I do. Can you be trusted to take orders and do what your superiors ask of you without hesitation? I will do whatever it takes to help bring us all home. Do you think you'd be able to trust your teammates unconditionally? Unconditionally? Pretty big commitment. I'd do my best. Would you say you have trust issues? I've been hurt by someone I trusted. So, I guess I'd say it's complicated. Have you been able to recover from that experience? Recover? To move forward. Haven't had much choice but to. Do you have problems trusting people? No. I don't think so. Do you think you are someone others can trust fully and without hesitation? Yes. Whoa, that is strong coffee. You think that's strong? You should try the stuff my dad used to make. He always said it would put hair on your back. <laughs> that's attractive. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was funny. It doesn't matter. Are you still looking through that thing? Yeah, why? Is it against protocol? No, no it's not. It's just that you've had the same amount of training that we've had. I don't understand what it is that you're going to get from that that you haven't already learned. I like looking at it. Gives me an idea of what we're going to see on Earth. But why not use a database? Why use an actual old book? I just like it. Yeah, but the resolution would be so much better on an ALD monitor than it is in that printing. I'm not worried about the quality. Look, this is vintage. Somebody on Earth used to read this exact book. This feels special. Is it worth something? Mm, not really. I like his body armor. You know those are scales, goofball. You think Marshall could take him in a fight? 
I think he'd be ripped to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny. Well, what else you got? Um, Whoa. Oh, yeah. yeah, that one looks cool. Uh, think so? Hmm. Gives me the creeps. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody else want any more coffee? My leg. Marshall! Shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, okay. We have to check for damage. Oh my god. I'll be alright. No, we'll your later. head! We'll get it later. What happened? I think we hit an asteroid. I thought the autopilot was supposed to map a path around those. It does, but if it wasn't uh, large enough, it doesn't have time to reroute. Uh, showing potential impact to the coolant system, cargo hold. I'll check the coolant system. Okay, I got the cargo hold. All right, I'll check the deck. Lights. Lights. Oh, come on. Did you guys find anything? No, nothing in the control room. Vivian. Yeah. Uh, the lights are acting a little funny, but other than that, nothing that I can see so far. All right, let's well, you get up here and help me out with this. And we have a leak, and if we don't deal with it, the engines are running overheat. On my way. breath away. 
brought me to tears. You know, I was a crying, shaking mess for a good five minutes just to realize that it was real, that all these things we'd ever heard and all the stories, it was real. And it was just more than you could ever imagine. It's been hard, you know. I spent my whole life with them. I love them. I miss them. But I feel like they're really proud of me, like I'm a representative of our family to this place. And um, your teammates become your family, too. The people I work with, they're my new family, so they make it bearable. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure anybody really knows what they're getting themselves into. I mean, how could you? I've seen some make the transition just fine while others don't adapt quite as well. Being here is amazing. It's hard to understand unless you see it for yourself. I am blessed to have this opportunity. Unfortunately, for some of the others, they have well, the reverse reaction. The vastness of it, the awe, it's too much for some people to comprehend. They fall apart. I've seen it happen. After life under a dome, for some, it's just too much. You have to be strong. Otherwise, you will never make it. We're all gonna die. Hey. There you are. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing some research. How's your head? It's fine. Okay. We're getting ready to eat dinner. All right. Okay. Well, are you going to explain it to us? Explain what? I already told you what happened. Yeah, that's my point. You're trying to feed us some crazy horse shit here. Marshall, calm down. You just expect us to calm believe down. that? No, no, I want answers. Well, what do you want me to say? I don't, I don't know why any of this is happening. I don't know why I saw what I saw. I just did. Giant spider. Yes. I was in the hallway and it was just, it was suddenly right behind me. Vivian, maybe you just think you saw something. Maybe you were sleepwalking. No, I wasn't sleepwalking. I, I know what this sounds like, but I know what I'm saying. It was right behind me, and I ran as fast as I could, and it, it was there, and it was real. You sound like an insane person. Look, we're gonna have to do something, or you're gonna put us all in jeopardy. You've seen things, too. You told us yourself you've seen things. Did you forget that so easily? I lay down to sleep, and I saw something. And the more I think about it, it was just a dream. Just some kind of vivid nightmare. Okay, so when it's you and the wife, it's just some dream. But I'm probably gonna jeopardize the whole thing. You know, maybe you're the crazy one. Maybe we should lock Calm you down, up. Guys. Calm so listen down. to me, you smartass. Okay, Calm one of my scientists, you wanna- Stop, Stop it! it. Stop, Stop it! Stop! it. Stop. Just... Stop.
She's not alone. Neither of you are. I've seen things too. Things. Hallucinations? No. They weren't hallucinations. He was real. Who was real? My father. System malfunction. Something's wrong. What? The alarm. What alarm? What do you mean, what alarm? The one that's going off! There's no alarm, Marshall. You're imagining things. That's bullshit! Look, I can hear! What, you think I'm crazy now? Okay, look, look, it's a coolant system, do you see? That's not showing any problems, there's nothing wrong. Wait, why don't you just go lie down? Don't touch me! You are wrong. You're wrong about the cargo hold and you're wrong now. Marshall, come back and talk to us. Let's just calm down. Don't you fucking tell me to calm down, all right? God. The cargo hold. What about it? There's something in there. How would you handle adversity if it were to arise? Adversity? If problems arose between you and your teammates, how would you react? I'd try to smooth things out. I suppose I'm usually kind of a calming force when things go wrong. Do things often go wrong when you're around? How would you act in a violent situation? Well, I'd act swiftly. Resolve the conflict without anybody getting too badly hurt. And if the matter was of higher consequence? Why, well, to eliminate the threat. If it were one of your peers endangering others? I'd eliminate the threat. How are you with facing altercations? I'm not a fan, but I can do what I have to. Have you ever been in a physical altercation? Once when I was younger. How young? Uh, around nine. A family member tried to hurt me. But I was able to fight him off. I'm sorry. That must have been very difficult for you. Yeah. Difficult. That's how I would describe it. I do every damn thing around here. We got a pretty bad leak up here. Marshall, there is no leak. What? Stop it! You're going to. <laughs> Shit, you gotta overheat the engine! That's an idiot! What's wrong with you? You have to
roommates broke protocol, and um, she was having trouble dealing with it. Yeah, it's fiercely competitive here. Uh, I think it's for people that want to trudge ahead or, or somebody that wants to go further than they probably should go. Uh, I'm one of those people. I, I'm competitive, uh, but um, I'm not willing to risk my soul for it. 100% trust fully. I probably couldn't answer that honestly. It's uh, really not a choice at this point because of where I'm at. Can't all coexist here. Some are survivors, while others will only hold you back. That's why you have to be so careful. You never know who's coming for you. You have to be careful, Marshal. The others, they're after you. Your leadership frightens them, intimidates them. I've seen it happen before. They will come for you, and they will kill you. Guys? Yeah? You're gonna wanna come down here. We missed something. You know, I don't ask a whole lot of you guys to do this. Five minutes. You know, every time that I've asked you to do from... something, you just do a half-assed job. You were supposed to check on that after the asteroid hit. And I did until you called me away to work on the leak. Look, the whole point is just to check to see if there was any damage. And when I went down there, I checked the external wall and there was no major damage. You've done rounds since then. Did you notice anything? Me? No, I didn't notice anything. You mean to tell me that you didn't notice that a bunch of cargo boxes had fallen to the ground? I didn't notice anything. Fine. Let's just take care of it. Great. And we'll forget about the whole thing. What do you mean, forget about it? We report this back to Mars. We can't do that, Vivian. What are you talking about? We have contained cargo open on the ship. We report this to Revive. Because if we do that, we might get sent back home. To the colony? Yes. Why? I'm sure it's standard protocol. That doesn't make sense. Why? He's right. I've never seen rock formations like that. Whatever they are, they must be samples from the explorer pods. So? So we could be contaminated. We're not contaminated. I feel fine, don't you? Vivian, if there is even the slightest chance that we've been exposed to some kind of airborne contaminant, they probably won't let us see Earth. There are lots of people back home that scored just as well on the test as we did, and they would send some of those people instead. You two don't believe that, do you? And what happens if they find out that we didn't report it? Because I'm pretty sure that's protocol, and they will definitely send us back to Mars. 
We're supposed to follow orders, remember? If they find out about this, we will never see Earth. Then we don't say anything. Agreed? Agreed. Fine. Okay then. I'll go clean it up. Can I speak to you for a minute? Do we need to do something about her? No. She'll stick to our decision. And how do I know that? You know, I will not let her ruin this for me. For us. <laughs> you don't have to worry about her. She's not going to say anything. Yeah? What if she does, huh? Then what? Trust me, she won't. I'll take care of it, all right? Please calm down. You don't know her as well as I do. No, I don't know her as well as you do. I don't know her at all. Hell, I don't even know you. Just trust me, okay? Fine. But you watch her. I don't want her wandering off alone. Hallucinations. This isn't real. Don't you understand me? None of this is happening. Marshall? Vivian? Only we can see. Come be with me. This can't be. Your mother misses you. Come be with us. You're not real. Dawn, why won't you trust me? trying to kill me, aren't you? Mm. Marshall, why would I want to kill you? Both of you! No, it's just your head. Come here. yourself a man. A real man wouldn't leave his pregnant wife at home to fend for herself. <clears throat> you make me sick. 
Anything else, muscles? You are trying to kill me, aren't you? Uh, Marshall, why would I want to kill you? Both of you! No, no, come on. We need to look at you, okay? It's not real, do you understand, Marshall? It's like before! Marshall? Stay away from me! Stay away from me! No, we can go after him. No. We've got to stay and take care of this or it won't matter anyway. Hey, baby. We wanted to come say hi. We... Hey, Julie. Isn't she beautiful? It's her baby. long to get here. We missed you so bad. Done with them, Marshall. Where are they? Let go of her. Where are they, Marshall? No, 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 Vivian. Marshall, leave her alone. Wait, wait, wait. Get his arm! I'm trying! Enter her. Ah. 
I know what I've seen in videos and photographs, but I think being there would be very different. Do you think it will be a good place to live? I think it would be a great place to raise a family. Well, Marshall Claiborne, after reviewing your various test scores and taking into account these oral evaluations, I'm proud to tell you that you've been chosen to aid in the efforts to rehabilitate Earth. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think life on Earth would be like? I think I'd get to see things that people before me have only dreamed of. There would be beauty and wonder and life. And I'd cherish it, all of it, every single minute. Everyone deserves to experience something like that. It would be like heaven. Vivian Colfer, I am proud to inform you that you have been chosen to aid in the rehabilitation of Earth. <laughs> Thank you. What would Earth be like for you? It will be different and the same. How do you mean? I'm sure it will be glorious. The animals, the color, so much blue and green. I'm used to a red world. <laughs> Is there something else on your mind? Well, I'll do my best to help in any way I can. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. That's just it. My heart is confused. If I go, I'll be thrilled and I will be able to dedicate every moment to my quest. But where others will grieve the families they leave behind, I won't because I have no one that will miss me. Don Neville, through your dedication and exceptional scores, we think you would make a great addition to the effort. I hope you enjoy Earth.
gonna be wonderful out there. I promise. I know. Think they'll like it here? Yeah. Yeah. I guess they're gonna be with you. Don, you alright? Yeah. I'll be right there. Opening bay door. 